So today we're going to talk about Waterlock's original sealer finish and their universal tongue oil sealer. There's a couple differences between both products, and so we're going to cover some of the main differences um, and then finish a piece of wood so you can see just the main difference of how to apply it and some little tips on how to do that properly. The sealer finish has been around since 1910, so a very long time. It's a tried and proven product and does a very good job at protecting wood surfaces. The universal tongue oil sealer was recently developed to meet higher government standards for VOCs. VOCs basically stand for volatile organic compounds and the only way you really tell that they're there is the odor. So basically a paint thinner odor or a solvent odor, that's going to be basically VOCs. So if you're a little more environmentally friendly or want to be, then this would be a good product choice for you. Um, if you're not or you want to use something that's more traditional, then this would be a good product. But there's a little more in both of these products than just whether you want to be environmentally friendly or not. Talking about how these products are blended, the sealer finish has a lot more solvent in it, so it's going to be a lot thinner. Uh, it's also going to soak in the wood a little better, but in the end, you're going to be left with a little bit less solids. So you'll need a little bit more to coat your product or your wood uh, and get the same level that you would with this product here. The UTOS or UTOS finish has a lot more solids and less solvent than the original sealer finish. That's going to make it a lot thicker, but it's also going to help your application process because you'll need fewer coats than you will with this finish. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the consistency as we pour them into our little cups here that we'll use to spread it around our wood surface. All right, so you can see the difference in color and consistencies. Remember, this one's gonna be a little bit thinner. This one's gonna be quite a bit thicker. Okay, so let's go ahead and spread some of these around this piece of wood and just see how it looks. Two of my favorite species of wood that I love to put the water locks finish on is gonna be cherry and walnut. It just pops the color pull so much depth out of it, and I just think it looks amazing. So we're gonna start by pouring a little bit of the original sealer finish on this piece of cherry here. And watch how it spreads out. And then we'll come back to the walnut and do the same thing. Next, we'll go to the universal tongue oil sealer. Here's where you can see the difference in consistency. Our other puddles have made it quite a good long ways to the edge here. And this one's a lot thicker. Now here's where the main difference in application comes into play. Well, I like to buff this in um, with a rag or a towel or a cloth or something and just kind of work it around. But the original sealer finish was really designed to be put on with a brush. So really there's not a lot of buffing that's necessary. You're basically just spreading it around. It's very thin so it self levels and soaks in the wood. I just find it easier than using a brush, which costs a little bit extra and sometimes can be a little frustrating for me. But if you've used a brush or want to try a brush, either a bristle or a foam brush, it's definitely not a wrong way to do it. Just because I do it one way doesn't mean you have to do it that way either. There's a lot of different ways you can put this finish on and get excellent results. Now, the difference with the UTOS finish, this is a true buff-in finish. So we really need to buff it, force it, mechanically place it in the fibers of the wood. So I'm going to have to use some elbow grease here and actually work this stuff in. Remember, because it's so thick in consistency, which is higher solids, it's not going to soak in the wood as easy as the original finish. So it kind of needs to be forced in. 
So circular pattern's good, going with the grain, against the grain. You want to just get some good coverage back and forth. One thing I might add is the products used to make this, both of these finishes, uh, are really the same. Uh, it's, it's tongue oil. So one is really not going to look better than the other, uh, since it's the same material, the same component that you're actually putting down on the wood. I used to think the UTOS finish looked better, but that was only because I had better coverage the first time I applied it than I did the first time I applied the original sealer finish. It wasn't that it looked better, it just got to that point a little quicker than I was used to. So here after letting it sit for oh, a couple minutes, uh, the UTOS is still built up on the surface, whereas the sealer finish has soaked in. It's actually pretty dry. There's really not anything on the surface I could put a little bit more on. Again, soaking in is really good. You want the wood to soak in as much as possible so that the fibers can be sealed. And I usually let them sit for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, if they're looking dry, I'll go back and put a little bit more finish on before I wipe them off or buff it clean. While we're letting this dry here, I'll go ahead and talk about what these finishes are designed to do. And both of them have the same purpose, and that's to seal the fibers in the wood through multiple coats, usually two to three coats, uh, so that your top coat of finish, either a, uh, a satin or a gloss or the urethane finish, has a, a good base to adhere to. The tannins in the wood, especially hardwood, uh, such as walnut, red oak, white oak, um, can damage the finish and cause it to not dry properly. And so these sealers actually seal that off so your top coat has a better chance to turn out excellent and last a long time. Okay, it's been a few minutes and so I'm gonna basically wipe off or buff off the excess finish. I don't want anything to dry on the surface. With the original sealer finish, it's not as important to do but with the UTOS, it's imperative that you wipe the surface clean of any finish uh, before it actually gets a chance to cure. Basically, you wanna get the wood dry so that anything that's still a liquid or dissolved is in the fibers of the wood below the surface of the wood. Once again, the original sealer finish is gonna be quite a bit easier to, to wipe off or to dry. The UTOS, again, it's a little more sticky or tacky, so you might need a couple more passes to kind of remove all of that, that finish from the wood. Really, it should get to the point where you can touch it and not leave streaks uh, or anything that looks like you just touched wet paint. Uh, if, if you're doing that, if you're leaving little spots where your fingers touch, then you probably need to wipe it just a little bit more. All right, well, we've got our first coat on here. Um, we'll go ahead and zoom in so you can kind of see that there's really no difference. Uh, honestly, they look identical. This is going to be what I would expect with these finishes. Uh, one doesn't have a better look than the other. It just has to do with the application. You might be wondering what finish is compatible with their top coats. The original sealer finish is compatible with their their satin and their high gloss. This is used as the base coat. This is used as a top coat if you want to achieve either a lower sheen than what this puts down, in which case you'd use the satin, or a higher sheen, in which case you'd use their high gloss. You can use this as a base coat and building it up on the surface, use it as a top coat as well if you like kind of a semi-gloss sheen that this finish puts down. The universal tongue oil sealer, however, is not really great for just a, a base coat. It's going to need a top coat on top of it. The universal tongue oil sealer was designed to work with their H2O locks, which again is their new line of low VOC products. This is a water-based emulsion uh, that evaporates off and basically has no odor. Uh, so really a great thing that they came up with there. Again, it has the same look as this finish. Both of these have the tongue oil finish in them. This one dries with a paint thinner based application. This one dries with a water based application. So we've gotten great results with our first coat of finish here. These wood samples look great. What you want to do is wait about 24 hours between recoats. 
with either one of these two sealers, you want to reapply after 24 hours and then again wait 24 hours between your next application. Usually two to three coats is necessary. And if you want to know how to do it properly all the way through your top coats, you can check out our other video showing how to apply water locks correctly. So you might be wondering to yourself which finish I prefer to use and really I don't necessarily prefer one over the other. It's basically application specific. During the week I like to use this finish more when I can leave the workshop overnight and let the odors kind of dissipate throughout the day. When the store is open and I need to get some finish on something, I usually prefer to use this because it's ba basically odorless and then I don't have to worry about customers having to smell uh, any solvents in the workshop. This is also a great finish to use for just basically one coat or two coats of an oil wiped on finish. So if you like the look of that and you've used tongue oil, just raw uncut tongue oil in the past or even linseed oil, this is definitely an upgrade from that and works great for that application. Again, this gets the same look, but it's going to need a top coat on top of it, either the H2O locks or the satin finish. Um, really great products. We've used them for years and been uh, impressed with how well they hold up. What's nice about them is they're scalable. So if you want one or two coats of these finishes or multiple coats, or you want to put three coats of the, fin the sealer finish on, and then two to three coats of the, the satin semi-gloss or high-gloss finish, then you can achieve a truly waterproof uh, surface and all along the way achieving different looks and sheens. Um, there's a lot of different ways and application methods that you can put it on. There's really not a right way or a wrong way uh, within reason um, as long as it achieves the end result of getting a good finish. So we thank you for watching our video today. We'd be happy to answer any questions or comments and stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more videos.